State election officials are warning about the dangers of voter intimidation as early voting gets underway. They are also banning law enforcement officers from being stationed at poll sites. Bill O'Neill has more now from Greensboro. A spokesman for the State Board of Elections says that the presence of police at polling sites can be intimidating to some voters. Republican leaders, however, say that the Board of Elections, controlled by Democrats, overstepped its authority. The memo from election officials notes it is against state and federal law to intimidate voters at the polls. Yet today, a spokesman for Siembra NC, an immigrant rights group, says a Republican poll observer did just that at an early voting site in Greensboro. Singled out our group of Latino people, um, of brown people who were just there cheering on our first time voter, the, the child of one of us. And it was a very concerning moment of voter intimidation. The memo from state election officials on possible intimidation includes this line, quote, it is not appropriate or permissible for law enforcement to be stationed at a voting place. When asked about it, a spokesman for the state board told me, quote, we know from complaints in previous elections that some voters feel intimidated by uniform police presence at polling places. I don't see why. I mean, I, I feel comforted when I see a law enforcement officer, and I would hope that, you know, most people would. Senate Republican Joyce Kravick says Democrats controlling the State Board of Elections have come up with a fix to a problem that doesn't exist. What's more, she says, the Board of Elections doesn't have the authority to ban police at polling sites. It's just completely unnecessary and completely out of the realm of their responsibility. A spokesman for the State Board says that past boards led by Republicans issued similar memos. This 2018 memo states, quote, the safety of voters and election officials is a top priority. At the same time, you must remain cognizant that some voters may feel intimidated by the presence of law enforcement at the polls. The election officials say that memo does not prevent law enforcement from responding to calls at polling sites in the event of trouble, trouble such as intimidation complaints. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.